Hello and welcome to Lima Senior High School for tonight's matchup between the Shawnee Indians and the Lima Senior Spartans. I'm Nate Garlock alongside, alongside Darn Evergall. And our pregame tonight is brought to you by our presenting sponsor, Road State College, whose spring 2024 registration is now open. Lima Senior and Shawnee have a long history together. This is a 48th meeting between the two schools. Goes all the way back to the very first one in 1958. Lima Senior leads that all-time series 35-12. But after a long break towards like the late 90s into around 2019, that, that this rivalry had kind of died. Over the last yeah, four years, yeah. it has come back. These games have been close, they have been competitive, and I expect we'll see much of the same again tonight. Oh, I expect that for sure, Nate. I mean, you're looking at two teams here. Shawnee coming off a, a four-game winning streak right now. Lima Senior on a two-game losing streak, but you know, really those two games that they've lost have only been by a total of six points. So, you know, one of them was, of course, the Ottawa Glendorf last weekend, which was a, a close matchup with OG. But yeah, I expect this to be a really close game. It looked like two barely, you know, on paper, pretty evenly matched teams, I think, you know, height-wise, you know, the biggest thing for Shawnee is gonna have to be defense, I think. They're gonna have to slow down this Lima senior offense, which is basically, as I always like to say, organized chaos sometimes when you look out there. I think the only thing they're missing is the asphalt, you know, when they're playing. But they seem to, you know, Quincy Simpson sees to keep these guys under control. They play a controlled kind, kind of game when they have to. You know, so I expect a very good game tonight. You know, a lot of different matchups to keep an eye on tonight. How that, how are the Shawnee guards going to handle that pressure that they will uh, undoubtedly see from that Lima Senior defense? But another one that will be a fun one to watch are the young players in this game. On Lima Senior side, there has been a lot of um, talk already around the freshman Sean Foster and what he is able to do on the basketball court. It has been fun watching him progress through this freshman year. But on the other side, Shawnee has two very talented young players, sophomore and freshman, the Berkey brothers. They have been having a phenomenal year as well. Oh, they certainly have. And they've got the height to go with it. You know, you got one at 6'4", the other at 6'5", you know. And Foster has 16 points against OG. So, he, you know, and he's been highlighted a couple times this year, you know, even by uh, Max Prep, you know, as far as that goes. But, you know, I really think it's going to come down to rebounding. And and surprisingly enough, that Lima Senior has been out-rebounded in about every game that they've played. You know, not by a lot, but they have been. You know, so, but they take a lot of shots that they call for, you know, long rebounds and that kind of thing, too. So it's going to come down to pretty much who controls the inside game, I think, on this one here, Nate. And I... I think Shawnee's may have a little bit of advantage in that respect because they're two Berkey brothers out there. A crosstown rivalry in action here tonight at Lima Senior. When we return, we'll have tonight's opening tips on the starting lineups on WOSX. Welcome back to Lima Senior. The opening tip is just about underway. Garlock alongside Dar Nevergall. And uh, both of these teams, this is a game that is always circled, not just on the coach's schedule, not just the player's schedule, but this is a community, surrounding areas. Everybody is excited when this game gets ready to go tip off. No, absolutely. And if you look at this crowd that's here for a Tuesday night, you can see why. I mean, it, it looks like almost a full house here just for this game alone. Like you said, Nate, this is this is a game that everybody looks forward to. You know, it's going to be a battle down there on the court, that's for sure. Tonight's first quarter sponsor, Easy Lineup Building and Contracting. For your next exterior concrete project or any foundation problems you have, call Brian Wheeler at Easy Lineup Building and Contracting, the experienced professionals. The tip is up, and it'll be controlled by Shawnee. See Beckett Berkey trying to go quickly to the baseline. Turn around, jumper that one short. Goldsberry with the rebound has that one blocked by Hutchins. Put back, no good. Third opportunity by Shawnee is good as Trevitt Berkey was there for the putback. We'll take a look at the starting lineups first for the Shawnee Indians. They're going to start number zero, Trevitt Berkey. Number two, Nick Payshon. Number 14, Dominic Lynch. Number 23, Beckett Berkey. And number 34, Alex Goldsberry. Lima Senior with the basketball. Their starting five looks like this. Number four, Javion Walton. Number five, Isaiah Wilson. Number 11, Sean Foster. Number 15, Deshaun Greer. And number 23, Jagger Hutchins. As we talked about in the pregame, Nate, when it comes to rebounding, that's going to be a key tonight. And you can see on that first possession by Shawnee, they had three rebound, three offensive rebounds 
before they got the bucket put in. See Hutchins, three point try, no good. Fight for the loose ball, went to, ended up in the hands of Shawnee. Rashawn's free throw was no good. Pushed up ahead to Foster. Foster stepped back three. That one's going to be off. Rebound's going to be tipped out of bounds as it was between Jagger Hutchins and Alex Goldsberry. They're going to say Goldsberry touched it last. And I think one of the players out there that's really going to be a guy to watch is Jagger Hudson. I've, I've seen him now play, and he's he's very impressive out there, particularly when you let him open out there for a three-pointer because he can nail it from that left corner over there. And there is Hutchins. Looks to drive there for he kicks that back out. Wilson drives, kicks down into the corner. Lima Senior showing some patience here, seeing what comes open. Wide open look at two is good as Javion Walton went unmarked. And able to get that down for Lima Senior's first two. Shawnee moving quickly. Trevor Perky, the freshman, guarded by Wilson. Has to get rid of it. Oh, nice, nice feed to the inside. Lynch high off the glass. That one's no good. Wilson will bring it up for the Spartans. Gets it back to Hutchins. Long three-pointer is good. And just as you mentioned, Jagger Hutchins, when he has time and space, is almost automatic from behind the line. Yeah, you cannot leave that guy open out there for a three. A lot, a lot of them he shoots from the left side, but any place on the court. Pays on those, comes down, and he shows that he is a threat from behind the arc. Connects on his three-point try. So early going here, both teams have a Ricker Lawn and Landscape three-pointer, and we are tied at five. Team's not you know, pretty good three-point shooting teams too. Average Lima Senior around a 40 point 40 percent mark. Shawnee around the 30 percent mark. See Becky Berkey guarding Hutchins. Hutchins gets a little physical, able to create that space, gets that one to go down for two. Hutchins with five here in the first already. As Lima Senior has the two-point lead, 5:15 left to go in the opening quarter. Bizon's going to try the other side. This one's going to be off. Hutchins goes up for the rebound. It. Here in the early going, Jagger Hutchins has been very busy. Yeah, he's the guy that you really got to keep an eye on for uh, Shawnee because he's the unknown out there a lot of times. You know, you hear about the other guys, Foster and those guys, but Hutchins is really a catalyst out there for them. Isaiah Wilson lost that ball, but nice job by Walton to get down. And, or excuse me, that was Greer as Greer went down to get that one. Lime Senior gets another opportunity. Isaiah Wilson's try a three-pointer, no good. J.B. on Walton tracks that rebound down. Sean Foster in the paint, has that one blocked by Goldsberry. Another opportunity though for Lima Senior as Hutchins is feeling it. Jagger Hutchins already with eight of Lima Senior's 10 points here in the quarter, and they have the five point lead. Back at Berkey, he goes on the attack, goes right at Deshaun Greer, and Greer's gonna pick up his first foul. Yeah, you gotta get out there on Hutchins. You can't let him shoot out there like that. Becca Berkey goes to the free throw line. First time tonight. Rashawn is up and good. Tonight's free throw sponsors, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpaw, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Becca Berkey leads the team in scoring 22 and a half points per game. Able to make both of his free throws. Yeah, very good free throw shooters. Shot 111 free throws so far this season, hitting you know over 72 percent of them. Double drive by Wilson leaves Walton wide open. He connects on a Ricker Lawn and Landscape three pointer. That is now three here in the quarter for Lima Senior. Johnny does a nice job coming down, and they quickly get the answer. There's Foster's two-point try, no good. Hutchins gets the rebound, second opportunity, no good, but he gets fouled as I believe they're going to get that on Nick Pazon. So you're gonna see Hutchins go to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Yeah, Hutchins have been very active so far here in this first quarter for Lima Senior. Hutchins' first free throw was short. Thirteen to nine. I'm a senior on top. Tate Bender coming into the game for Shawnee for the first time tonight.
Hutchins able to make the adjustment. Second free throw goes down. 14 to nine. Five point lead matches Lima Senior's largest so far here in the early going. 3.31 left to go in the quarter. This one's going to be knocked out of bounds and stay with the Indians. Yeah, and Lima Senior playing off that three point shot so far. They've shot, put up seven of them so far. And, you know, they've got good rebounding to clean them up as well. Wilson did a great job of reading that pass. He jumped in front of Trevick Berkey. Knocked that one out of bounds. Shawnee, though, fortunate to keep that possession. Substitutions coming in for a Lima Senior. And we see number 10, Caden Hampton, check into the game for the Spartans, as does number zero, Noah Simpson. So two freshmen on the floor for Lima Senior, Noah Simpson, Sean Foster. Bender, gone better than that three-pointer, gets rid of it. He's going to get it back up near the top of the key. Simpson playing very tight man-to-man -man defense. Bender nowhere to go with it. Lynch has to come and help him, but he's not going to have it very easy as well as Foster was on him, and Foster just picked up his first foul. Yeah, it's great defense by Lima Sr. I've been impressed so far with both their half-court offense and their half-court defense. They're doing very well to keep the Shawnee team away from the inside. Lynch will trigger the inbounds. Trevick Berkey is the one that comes free. It'll be interesting to see how the Indians handle this pressure from Lima Senior. Right there, great job though by Lynch to grab that one strong. Can't get the put back to go either. So two opportunities there for Shawnee. They couldn't get it to go down, but after going out of bounds, last touch by Lima Senior, they'll get another chance. Hutchins coming back into the game, this time for Isaiah Wilson. Yeah, the Indians need those inside baskets like that because they're gonna that's where they're going to dominate in this game if they can. Nice inbounds play as Beckett Berkey came wide open. He's able to get that one to go in at the rim. And Berkey averaging over 22 points a game, and that, you can see why. I mean, you know, nice moves on the inside. A, another Ricker Lawn and Landscape three-pointer is good as Caden Hampton had just checked into the game, and he gets his first shot to go down. Noah Simpson gets whistled for the foul. And that's one of those things that Coach Simpson, you kind of have to live with. He loves playing this very tight, close pressure defense. But especially when you have young players, sometimes they can get a little over aggressive and you can start picking up some fouls. And we're seeing here in the early going, as that is now, I believe, the fourth or fifth team foul. We'll see if it's the fifth. We're going to the free throw line. And no, just the fourth. So they got to be careful. They don't want to send Shawnee to the free throw line. Any more fouls will do that under the new rules. Because Shawnee's a very good free throw shooting team. About 71% of their free throws as a team themselves. But you're right, Nate. You know, this, this defense, and there's a takeaway. And that's really only, I think, the first turnover I've seen in the game so far. Hampton going to step into a three-pointer oh, again. And that is his second Ricker Lawn and Landscape three-pointer. And the fifth for Lima Senior here in the first. Wow, and they're getting good open looks out there, too. The Indians are going to have to get out there and put some pressure on them. Here's Bender from the corner. He's going to try a three-point try. That one's going to be no good. Long rebounds ends up in the hands of Berkey. Lynch, he's going to give it a shot. That one's going to be no good as well. Shawnee does not want to get into a battle here trying to trade three-pointers. Simpson, he's going to try one, and that oh, one is good. Out. Noah Simpson with Lima Senior 7. Ricker Lawn and landscaping three-point try here of the quarter, and they are out to the 12-point lead. That's 7 for 10 from three-point range, Nate, I'll tell you. And this is what Shawnee needs to do. They just have to go back into attack mode, try to get to the inside. Came up empty on that trip, though. Noah Simpson going to drive against Bender, and we're going to have a whistle. They're going to call an offensive foul. Great job by Tate Bender to get back and get his feet set. He saw the contact coming. And Noah Simpson with two fouls here as he had just checked into the game. It looked like he was going to check back out, but he may be staying in. And now Coach Simpson is going to have him check out as Khalid Walsh is going to check into the game. Javion Walton back into the game as well. You see Max Goldsberry has checked in for Shawnee. Bender working against Walsh. And we're going to have a 
foul. This one is going to go on Walsh as he had just checked into the game. That's that is six, the sixth man. team foul. So we're going to have a trip to the free throw line here for Tate Bender. Still a minute eight left to go. No, just fifth. They had added one too many fouls up there. Tate Bender at the free throw line. He is this team's best free throw shooter, shooting over 80% on the season. And he connects on the first. Yeah, 28 for 34 coming into this game. Gets that first one down. But you're right, Nate. The pressure defense for Lima Senior, a lot of hand movement, a lot of reaching in, trying to take the ball away, and that costs you a lot of times. Bender's second free throw is up and good. Tate Bender in the scorebook now with his first two of the night. Makes this a 10-point game. 105 up to go in the opening quarter. Walton, three-point try on its way. That one's no good. Goldsberry is able to track down the rebound. Lynch going to try to push the pace. Here comes the trap. Able to find Berkey. Berkey sets his feet. Three-pointer good as Beckett Berkey has his first Ricker Lawn and Landscape three-pointer. 36% three-point shooter. You leave him open out there on the on right off top, and he's going to knock it down. 5-0 run by the Indians. Got this back to a seven-point deficit. Final 30 seconds of the opening quarter. Fast pace action up and down the floor by both of these teams. We'll see how Lima Senior wants to try to end it. We're going to have a whistle as it looked like Coach Triplett was calling from the sidelines that he wanted that foul. Looking to probably trade out some players here for defense towards the end of the quarter. That's exactly what he does. Brings in Demola Ojo. Dominic Lynch will take a seat. Sean Foster back into the game for Lima Seniors. Both coaches continue to trade pieces in and out. And we'll see this chess match oh, all yeah, night between absolutely. both head coaches. Yeah, trying to find the right personnel to match up with each other. Ojo trying to go high and face guard Wilson on that inbounds and just too much contact, so he's going to pick up his first foul. 18.7 seconds left to go. Shawnee was still a couple of fouls left to give, or at least one foul left to give before Lima Senior would have to go to the free throw line here in the quarter. Wilson brings it up. He's going to have to hurry and get across the timeline, and he does. Eight seconds left to go. Looking to go off the screen. Uses that speed to create space. Gets it up at the rim. No good. No one's going to pick up Bender. He's going to let it go from half court. And oh. just off the side. Just a narrow miss for Shawnee. That's going to bring the first quarter to a close. Lima Senior sits on top. 23-16. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years, with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Tonight's three-pointers are brought to you by Ricker Lawn and Landscape. Contact Ricker Lawn and Landscape for all your lawn care needs, including fertilization and weed control, aerating, hydro seeding, irrigation service, installation, and more. And we certainly saw a lot of the Ricker Lawn and Landscape three-pointers no, there in that did. first quarter, especially from the Lima Senior side. And what? that's what helped propel them to this seven-point lead. Yeah, the Lima Senior, I'm officially six for 11 in that first quarter from three-point range. And that really put uh, Shawnee in a desperate situation to try to keep, make a comeback. They made a little bit of a comeback to come within seven points. Lima Senior comes out. Able to continue right where they left off in that first quarter as Foster gets his first two of the night. Berkey turnaround jumper is good. Back at Berkey is so dangerous with that mid-range shot. He can get it in the inside. He can go 15 out behind the arc as he's going to try out that length right now. That one's going to be no good. Looks like he rushed that one maybe just a little bit. Yeah, I think he needed to pull up a little bit, wait for his guys to get underneath the basket. A little bit of a late whistle as Wilson was fouled going in. This one is going to go on Trevitt Berkey. He's going to pick up his first team's first of the quarter. Isaiah Wilson at the free throw line. First shot is up, and it is good. You know, Isaiah Wilson had 16 points against uh, OG in their loss last Saturday, but now, that's his first point of the night tonight. 
Isaiah Wilson, second shot on its way, and it is good. 27-18. Lima Senior still with the lead, and Trevor Berkey working against Wilson. Bender left all alone, able to finish at the glass. Nice job by Tate Bender to get that one to go in. I think he was a little surprised when he turned I around and didn't see anybody there. He go, Whoa, wide open here. Wilson with the deep three, no good. Nice fight for the rebound. Going to go out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by Lyman Senior. Rashad Greer was all over that one, but couldn't get the second chance to go in. Jay Bender now with four points. He was averaging about five points a game, so that's a big plus for this Indians team. Now you see Lima Senior able to get into that full court man press that they love to play. And even if they're not right on you, sometimes it's just that mentality of knowing that you're going to constantly have to take it up against pressure to make you make mistakes. And that time, lots of contact as Lynch on the putback. No good. Greer's going to pick up that foul. And that's going to be his second. And Lyman Senior's got to be careful. Careful, Coach Quincy goes to his bench a lot. And he likes to rotate in a lot of guys. But that is now, I believe, the seventh or eighth foul already here in this half. And even though those team fouls may reset, your player fouls don't. Right. You've got to be careful. He doesn't want to lose any of these guys tonight. And you're right, Nate. He likes to rotate in a lot of guys, but you're looking for that right combination, too. And if you've got a lot of guys in foul trouble or that thing, you're not going to be able to match up the guys you want sometimes. Lynch is able to connect on both of his free throws. Those are his first points of the night. Has this bound to a five-point game. Left all alone in the corner. That is going to be a travel as Walton, I think, wanted to head fake and drive and kind of got himself caught in the air. And a little bit of a mental lapse that time. I think he thought the defender was, you know, converging on him a little faster than he was, and he was already going to be there, and he wasn't. Here's Beckett Berkey, moves it up ahead to Lynch. Lynch looking for somewhere to go with it. Gets it back to Berkey, had it knocked away. He comes on back into the game for Shawnee. Lynch being guarded by Foster. Waiting for the offense to go as this defense from Lima Senior continues to smother. Lynch had a look at it through the cutting lane, but can't get that one to go in. Both teams being very patient when it is on the offensive ends. Here's Wash. Let's that floater go. A little too strong on that one, though. Bender going to push it up quickly. Three-point try on its way, and good. In rhythm for Nick Pashon as he gets that one to go down for another Ricker Lawn and landscape three-point try. His second one of the night. 29% free th or three point shooter out there, and he can both uh, so far. So, one point in the first quarter. This was a 12 point deficit. Shawnee has done a great job getting back into this one. Valance Goldsberry comes back into the game, and it is just a two point difference now. And yeah, they've ratcheted up their defense a little bit, the Indians have, and they've also been very patient on their office event to get the best shot they can. Well, it almost seems like you wonder if at one point it wasn't, you know, Coach Triplett just thinking there, there's no way they can continue to hit three-pointers right. at the rate that they are. Let's keep doing what we're doing. Right now, that's being successful. You see Wilson stop, pull up, no good. Greer is doing a great job underneath but has that one taken away. Five minutes left to go here in the half. Bender with the basketball. Looking for the screen, decides to take it with his right hand off the glass. Has that one blocked as Walton went way up high. Here's Wilson on the other end to finish. Miscommunication that time by the Indians, and they're going to give it right back to Limas Sr. And you can see Berkey kind of telling his teammates, let's slow down, keep our composure. Don't want to be going too fast. Yeah, trying to push it up there. We. You know, we, we don't get in a running contest at this stage. We can really play our offense, just kind of slow ourselves down a little bit, get our best shots. You know, Dar, you kept talking. You know, we've mentioned a couple of times about that Ottawa Glendorf game that Lima Seniors had, and that was a, a very close game, a very competitive game. But I think that's, you know, kind of what this season has looked like for Lima Seniors. Simpson has that one blocked by Bender. 
you know, they've kind of been up and down up as and far down. as level of competition. And when they've had to go and, and kind of dig deep, as you hear, you go Foster all the way in for the two-handed slam. Foster makes it look easy on that two. And now on the other end, Lynch is getting a little excited with his feet. It's going to be another turnover as Lima Senior is looking to take some of this momentum. But as we were talking about, you know, Lima Senior, you know, they've had to play some uneven competition. We know, you know, the OGs and some of the other teams that Coach Simpson likes to load his uh, schedule up with to make sure that his team is getting that correct level of competition mm -hmm. he wants them to see with eyes always towards that run at the end of the year in the postseason. But I think with that, you know, those highs and lows of the competition that they've seen, that's why we've seen some inconsistency out of this team. It's hard to play at a high level every night. Yeah, absolutely. And, and know when to adjust and, and make those timing changes. And it, there's a lot that, that goes into it. That's why you see coaches load up their schedules. And I think Lima Senior this year has been a little bit of a victim of, you know, that that issue where they've had to play some competition that they normally wouldn't play. I, I agree 100%. Plus, they're a young team, too, and that's the other thing, too. You know. See, Berkey not happy with that call, but he pushed off with that offhand, trying to take that steal away from Simpson. So another foul on Beckett Berkey. No, oh, excuse me, that's his first. It was Trevick who had the first one. Now, Lima Seniors had to deal with some injury issues. They've got a young team. They've had to plug some holes, you know, have some guys come up very quickly, you know, uh, and emerge and, and take over some spots. And, you know, I've seen them get start when they had a one-point win in that game. I mean, it, you know, they, they've had a – they started out the season 107 points in the first game and then back and forth, you know, all throughout the season. Well, I'll tell you this much too, though. You know, knowing Coach Simpson like most of us do, He'll never use it as an excuse. Yeah, absolutely you play not. what you play. He wants his team on point at all times. But, you know, that not only Landorf, that was a big jump in competition from what they've seen. They were able to rise to it. The offense didn't, wasn't clicking like they like it to, but that defense looked good. And I think right now, my team is just looking for consistency out of yeah. both sides of the ball. When the Knights of the offense are on, we need the defense to go and vice versa. That shot by Wilson is going to be off. Rebound comes back down to Burke. He's six point deficit still, 31 25. And they asked also in that Otto Glendorf game, they had to deal with Colin White with 29 points in that game. I mean, which a lot of teams, you know, that's, that's a tough, you know, build to try to deal with. Javion Walton gets that foul. It's going to be his first. It's only the team second here of the quarter as the fouls. As I was, as that's coming out of my mouth, that the fouls were starting to slow down for Lima Senior. Another quick whistle as Isaiah Wilson's going to pick up his first. It's now the team's third here of the quarter. Oh, another good in, inbound play. Shawnee has done has ran that inbounds play great all year long. More often than not, you're seeing good wide open looks at the basket, able to convert on that one. That's Alex Goldsboro-Brary's first point of the night. Long three-pointer on its way in, in, as Isaiah Wilson gets another Ricker Lawn and Landscape three-pointer. That's his first three-pointer of the night. Travis Berkey working against Wilson, gets a little bit of space, kicks it back out. Simpson on the defense. Foster almost had that one. As Lynch can't get it in, but right there for the putback with Fashon. 34-29. 2.15 left to go. Wilson's going to try it from the other side. This time, no good. Shawnee comes up with the rebound. And, and still, I see you're getting some open looks on the outside out there. Shawnee content to just stay back here inside, try to pick up and clean up the rebounds instead. And that ball flies out of bounds. I'd like to thank tonight's instant replay sponsor, Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Tate Bender coming back into the game. Deshaun Greer back into the game for Lima Senior. That's 16 three-pointers that Lima Senior's tried so far here in the first half. Tonight's quarter sponsor was Elida Building and Contracting for your next exterior concrete project or any foundation problems you have. 
Call Brian Wheeler, Elina Building and Contracting, the experienced professionals. 140 left to go here in the quarter. Three-pointer on its way by Walton. That one's going to be no good. Rebound down to Shawnee. A little bit out of control that time going into the lane with Pashon. Can't get that one to go. Still a five-point deficit. Here's Wilson. We know he's got the range. Let's see if Shawnee wants to maybe start playing some of these three-point shooters a little bit tighter instead of giving them as much space. Oh. But as soon as you start to creep out, they find the open lane. And Deshaun Greer gets his first two points of the night. Yeah, that's the danger you got because they got good vision that they find somebody underneath the basket then. Here's Berkey going to try to drive, cuts, goes back baseline, has to fight through a double team, rattles that one in for two. Tough shot by Beckett Berkey. He's so smooth when he gets the ball on the inside. He can put it down on the floor just, you know, and, and maneuver his way inside. Three-point try by Simpsons Long. Bender comes up with the rebound. 35 seconds left to go. See what Shawnee wants to do. Berkey looks like he wants to get in the lane, and he does. Puts it up with the right hand, off the rim, no good. Fight for the loose ball. And that will come down to Lima Senior, but Wilson throws it away. Here's Bender. Gives it over. Pass on for three. That one oh. rattles out. Fight for the rebound. Two Shawnee players were right there for it. And a little bit of miscommunication between them that leads to that ball going back to Lima Senior. Caden Hampton coming back in for Lima Senior. Number 34, Alex Goldberry checking in for Shawnee, as is Damola Ojo. 14 and a half seconds left to go. Lima Senior on top. And this has been a very aggressive, very fast-paced first half so far. You can see some guys out there sucking some air a little bit. Wilson goes through the screen, wide open, pulls up from just beyond the free throw line, no good. Rebound fought for, end up in the hands of Trevick Berkey, but he can't get a clean look. And just like that, the first half has come to a close. Lima Senior goes into the locker room on top, 36-31. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School. Halftime is underway. Time for our halftime adjustments. Halftime adjustment sponsor tonight is Elida Building and Contracting. For your next exterior concrete project or any foundation problems you have, call Brian Wheeler at Elida Building and Contracting, the experienced professionals. Nate Garlock alongside Dar Nevergal and Dar. Honestly, you look at that back and forth, there's a few things that stand out, but the main thing's got to be the hot shooting from Lima Senior. No, oh, absolutely. You know, they, they were 7 for 18 from three-point range, 39%. And that's one of the adjustments that Shawnee's got to do. They got to come out out there a little bit tighter on those three-point shooters. Lima Senior had a lot of open three-point shots, and you can't let them have that because if they're hot, they're hot. You know. The other thing too is, you know, when you do that though, you got to be careful not to allow Lima Senior to get those inside buckets the way they were either. So you know, there's it's a catch-22 for the Indians, but they've got to guard on that outside shooting for for Lima Senior. You know, when you talk about Lima Senior and, and that hot shooting that they did, on the other end, the offense from Shawnee looked really good at times as well. They got some things going. Beckett Berkey was doing a nice job on the inside. We saw Nick Pachon do his own damage from behind the arc. What kind of adjustments do that, that offense need to make to get back in this game? Well, I think, you know, you, you saw Shawnee on the inside. They were 8 for 25 on two-point range for 32%. But, you know, the big thing is, is it continue to bang on the inside like that. You know, they, they get the rebounds, they're getting second and third opportunities. They got to be more patient a little bit. I think a couple times they hurried their offense a little bit, you know, fired up when they probably shouldn't have because there wasn't anybody really under the basket to, to clean up for them. So they got to make that adjustment of just keep pounding on the inside, play their game in there. They've got the height advantage, I think, in the inside. Now we saw Hutchins, you know, for Lima Senior come out firing, and he pretty much stayed quiet in the second quarter. You didn't hear about him. So they made a nice adjustment on that, that end of it, too. But they really got to keep firing away on the inside. You know, you'll get those open looks on the outside. They're not getting as many as they would like to see, I'm sure. But I think they've got the advantage on the inside. If they can get on the inside to the Berkey boys, you know, they can pound in there. 
Well, Halftime is just about over, so we will step away. When we come back, we'll see what kind of adjustments both of these teams make. We'll be back on WOSN. Tonight's quarter sponsor was Elida Building and Contracting for your next exterior concrete project or any foundation problems you have. Call Brian Wheeler, Elida Building and Contracting, the experienced professionals. Sponsor, Metzger Financial Services. Metzger Financial Services is helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Just about underway here in the third quarter, Shawnee is coming out of the locker room. They'll have the basketball, finding themselves down five. Lima Seniors had several runs. They've opened this to double-digit lead several different times. Shawnee's done a nice job of hanging around. They got to find a way to get over that hump. Well, the one big thing, too, in that first half was Shawnee only had them unofficially for four turnovers, so they've been able to take care of the basketball really well against this uh, Lima Senior pressure defense. See Lima Senior coming out, continuing to show that pressure, not giving a lot of space to the Indians at all. And Shawnee trying to be patient, moving the ball around the perimeter. Here's Beckett, works against Greer, drives baseline, pull-up jumper. That one's going to be no good. Hutchins in there for the rebound, can't hold on to it. Berkey ended up with it back into his hands, but had that one rejected. Here comes Foster, a relatively quiet first half. And a big foul, as you saw a big reaction from Goldsberry, but then he pops up, says he's all right, and the basketball is going to stay with Shawnee. And yeah, Goldsberry, a senior, six foot three, a big kid out there too. So, I'd like to thank tonight's quarter sponsor, Elena Building and Contracting, for your next exterior concrete project or any foundation problems you have. Call Brian Wheeler at Elena Building and Contracting, the experienced professionals. Shawnee almost loses this one, able to gather it back in, and Berkey's going to get fouled. He's going to go to free throw line to shoot two, as Foster will pick up his second foul. Yeah, Berkey with 11 points in that first half, and that's another thing for Shawnee, too, a reason to pound it on the inside. If they can get the Lima Senior in foul trouble, they're very, Shawnee's a very good free throw shooting team. They were six for six, six, for six in that first half, so. First free throw is up and good. Back at Berkey leading the team in scoring. He now has 12. If this gets down to a free throw shooting contest at the end, uh, you'd have to give the advantage to the Indians. Berkey lines up his second shot. It's on its way and good. Back down to a one possession game. 36-33. Greer though with a great answer right at the basket. Gets that one to go down. Here's Lynch, he's gonna drive into the lane, works against Foster, can't get that one to go. Goldsberry has it swatted away, but we have another whistle. This one, let's see who they give this one to. They're gonna give it to Greer. That is his fourth foul. So I'd imagine that Deshaun is gonna go and have a seat, and he is. Caden Hampton's gonna come in for him. As Trevick, or no, they're gonna say that that foul was actually on the floor, so no free throws. Shawnee will maintain possession. Lynch able to get that one away. Guarded but, by Hampton. But it is the third team foul already here in the third quarter for Lima Senior. We saw the first quarter really be foul problems for Lima Senior. They did a much better job in the second. But already too many fouls up on that scoreboard here to begin this third quarter. You see Berkey take a tumble. This ball's going to go back to the Spartans. Isaiah Wilson with the basketball, goes with the left hand. Gonna attack, gets to the rim. Can't get that one to go down, but he's gonna go to the free throw line yet again tonight. It's a great job by Wilson, just lowering his head, using that speed that he has to create his own space, just couldn't get it to fall. First free throw is up and good. He's now three for three at the free throw line himself tonight. His eighth point. Wilson lines up his second shot on its way. This one's going to be short. Rebound ends up into the hands of Berkey. 
Beckett gets it over to Trevick. Wilson switches on. They have length on length as Walton has picked up Beckett Berkey. It's going to be a key matchup down there with Walton and Berkey. Double team coming. Trevick had the mismatch for a second against Wilson. They got out of it. Ends up in the hands of Pachon. That one's going to be no good. Walton with the rebound and the long outlet. Foster going to step into the three-point try and gets it to go. Sean Foster with the Rick Lawn and Landscape three-pointers. Contact Rick Lawn and Landscape for all your lawn care needs, including fertilization and weed control programs, aerating, hydro seeding, irrigation service, and installation. Another whistle on the other end. Isaiah Wilson just picked up his second foul. That is now the team's fourth foul, so any more fouls the rest of this quarter. And Shawnee will go to the free throw line. And as you mentioned, Dar, they have the advantage there. They shoot very well from that charity strike. This foul is going to go on Pachon. I think they're going to get him for over the back. And that's going to be his second. The whistle is starting to blow a little bit more here in the third quarter. Play's been pretty aggressive so far in this quarter. Back out to a nine-point lead as Lima Seniors have been able to stretch it, looking to make this a double-figure lead here uh, this evening. Wilson gets it back to Hutchins. Hutchins works against Berkey. Hutchins gets all the way on the inside, turning around with the right hand. That one's going to be no good, but he's going to go to the free throw line. Tonight's free throws are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Alima, Walfalk, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Hutchins with nine points in that first half. This is his first opportunity for points here in the second. Jagger Hutchins able to connect on his first. He'll have one more. Ten-point lead now for Lima Senior, trying to stretch it to 11. Hutchins shot is up, and he does. 5.15 left to go here in the third. Shawnee needs an answer. Yeah, they need to stop the bleeding right now. They, you know, they've got to put points on the board somehow. Berkey gets doubled, has to kick out of it. Goldsberry left all alone, gets it underneath the Lynch. Lynch tried to let Foster fly by, but Hutchins comes with it. Help sends it back against the wall. You gotta be impressed with Lima Seniors, you know, defense in the paint as well. I mean, they're doing a great job of just keeping Shawnee out of there. And when the Indians do get a chance to get inside there, they've been bodied up by this Lima Senior team. Berkey tried to use that length to get that one to go in. No good. Goldsberry ends up getting a second opportunity, but that one's no good as he's gonna get found by Hutchins. Alex Goldberry is going to make a trip to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line to shoot two. And that actually went against Sean Foster, not Hutchins. So Foster now has three fouls on the night. Goldsberry, a 77% free throw shooter. Free throw is up. First one is good. And this is what Shawnee needed, finding themselves down 10 here in the third. The offense really hasn't been able to get going. So they need to lengthen this game a little bit. No better way of doing that than scoring when the clock is stopped. Goldsberry, two for two on the free throw line. He has four on the night. Wilson working against Bender, who had checked into the game. He just runs right, right by him. 46-35, back out to an 11-point lead. Bender getting smothered, has to get rid of it. Hampton playing great defense. That basket put Wilson in double figures at 10 points. Lynch loses it, passes it up ahead to Foster. Foster, he finishes at the rim. Another easy two-handed dunk for Sean Foster. And it is a 13-point lead, 48-35. We have a timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. We'll be back on WOSN. Timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 
Shawnee wanted to take the time out as they have seen this lead grow from five all the way to 13. Only 18 left to go here in the third. And right now, they just do not have an answer for this Lima Senior defense. No, they do not. And it's a 12-4 third quarter so far in favor of Lima Senior. So Shawnee really needs to stop this momentum that the Spartans have been able to build up. See Berkey trying to work on the inside. Has to give that up, come out and get it with Bender getting into a little bit of trouble. And this one is going to be taken away as Shawnee right now. They just don't know where to go with the basketball, it looks like. This band pressure of Lima Seniors giving them all sorts of issues. They're trying to go to the inside. Lima Seniors' length is right there to deny it. Not a lot of moving or ball screens right now to try to open anybody up. Absolutely not. And Walton doing a great job so far on, on Berkey just to deny him the basketball. And that's really where Shawnee wants to go with it. And they just can't get it there. Trevor Berkey comes open. His three-point try is no good. Hampton chases down the rebound. They will get into the hands of Simpson. Noah Simpson is going to bring it up the floor. Passes it off to Foster. Foster up and under. Can't go. Here's Beckett, he's working against Walton now, gets into the lane, turnaround jumper, gets blocked. That length of Javion Walton is on display. Two-step and Oh, in. my. Gets the block on one end, runs the floor, and finishes it for two. Now Lynch trying to do something to give his team a spark. Gets into the lane, you see the contact as he hits the floor. And he's going to make another trip to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. He's been there 77 times so far this season, hit 69% of them. So, again, Nate, as we talk, this is what Shawnee needs to do at this stage, is get to the foul line as much as they can, get, try to stop the flow of this Lima senior team and put them in some foul trouble. Only the third point on the night for Dominic Lynch. As you mentioned, he gets himself to the free throw line quite a bit. There is nobody who's ever watched Shawnee play that will say Dominic Lynch is afraid of contact. I absolutely he will not. take it right to you time and time again. Down second free throw is up and good. 305 left to go here in the third. Simpson comes down, has that one knocked out of bounds, but it will stay with the Spartans. Trying to hit that fade, fade away layup there and Indian defender right there on him. And Isaiah Wilson gets it over to Foster. Foster, all the way three. That one's no good. Shawnee now with an opportunity here. See if they can cut into this lead a little bit. It's been a while since we've seen them get a stop on the offensive end. They gotta be patient. They got plenty of time in this game. Great job by oh Wilson to read that, saves it, and Foster one more time. His third two-handed dunk of the night, and he just makes it look simple. He gets himself open, that's the big thing, and the guys know he gets himself open. They know exactly where he's at at all times. Gonna have another foul as this one is gonna go, I believe, on Wilson, maybe Walton's, it was, was Walton. Javion Walton picks up his second. You know, and I think people forget, and we mentioned it, in case you forgot, Sean Foster's just a freshman. Just a freshman. Only a freshman. You know, freshmen make freshman mistakes. It doesn't matter how good you are. Those things happen. There are growing pains. And, and he's had some of those. He'll continue to have them. That's just a part of growing and maturing as a player. But what he can do and the talent that he possesses, it is just incredible to watch. Berkey's free throw is good. 52-39, 2.15 left to go. You can imagine what the next three years are going to give show for the Slimer senior team. Three-point try by Simpson, no good. Berkey gets the rebound. Pushes up ahead. Sean works against Foster. Hangs in the air, but can't get that one to go. Pokes it away, out of bounds, back to the Spartans. So Shawnee has had some opportunities here, but they just, for some reason, cannot get it to fall through when they are at the rim. Seen a lot of them bounce off the sides. Looks like they're going in. They bounce out. Just some unfriendly bounces here tonight for the Indians. 
And you can give credit to the Lima senior defense for a lot of that as well because you're being pressured all the time when you're shooting the ball. You're trying to put it up there as quickly as you can if you're the Indians. And then it just, you know, bounces yeah. around. And that step back three by Isaiah Wilson is good. So he has another Ricker Lawn and Landscape three-pointer. We have some more contact down low. Another foul is called. Tony, or Lima Senior, excuse me, already at that five-team foul threshold. So see Beckett Berkey heading to the free throw line. He's going to shoot two. Big crowd packed gym tonight on this Tuesday night for this crosstown rivalry. Shawnee, nine and four on the season, undefeated in the Western Buckeye League, tied up top alongside Ottawa Glandor. They play the Titans here in about a week and a half. That'll be a huge matchup. Yes, it will. Lima Senior, likewise, in the hunt for their conference championship for the Toledo City League. It's a great measuring stick for both of these teams as we get ready here in a few weeks to turn the calendar to February and we'll start talking about tournament draws and the road to Dayton will be on us. Before you know it, it'll be postseason time. Moving right along, isn't it? Absolutely. My goodness. Seems like tip-off was just <laughs> yes. yesterday. Berkey, second free throw up. This one is good. Shawnee trying to stay close, trying to hang around. So you think they got to get some stops though here. Yeah, you can you can get all the free throws you want and get those single points at a time, but you've got to stop this Lima senior team from hitting three-point shots. As Isaiah Wilson in attack mode gets to the rim, gets the contact, and he's gonna go to the free throw line for the end one opportunity. That's 15 points now for Isaiah Wilson. I'd like to thank tonight's instant replay sponsor, Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Isaiah Wilson steps up to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. Looking for the end one, and he gets it. Isaiah Wilson with nine points here in the quarter. There's a big reason why this team has been able to extend that lead out to 17. Ripple team coming for Berkey. Sony right now has just got to find a way to move the ball and find the open man instead of trying to force it on the inside. Lynch does a great job there, though, splitting the defense, and he's able to get two. Yeah, they're going to get need a big performance now from from Lynch because Berkey's really, like you said, he's getting triple teamed down there. He's not had a lot of opportunities under the basket, and Lynch is going to, which leaves Lynch open to try to drive to it. And Coach Simpson wants to take the timeout, talk about it, talk to it, talk about it, excuse me, to his team here to end that third quarter. Lime Senior on top, 58-43. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Sponsor tonight is Road State College for the spring 2024 registration is now open. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Metzger Financial Services is helping you play in your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Final 20 seconds of the quarter. Wilson working against Berkey. And there's a speed mismatch here. We'll see if Isaiah decides to try to use that. Levitt giving him some space. Wilson not afraid to pull up either. Hampton, nice look off, gets to the rim, no good. Hutchins oh. there for the tip in at the buzzer. The third quarter belonged to the Spartans. They have the 17 point lead. They'll step aside and be back with the fourth on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's quarter sponsor is Elinda Building and Contracting. For your next exterior concrete project or any foundation problems you have, call Brian Wheeler, Elinda Building and Contracting, the experienced professionals. Our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. 
Welcome back to Lima Senior High School. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Dar Nevergall. Fourth quarter just about underway here as Lima Senior stepped on the gas and really put a big divide between them and Shawnee here to end of this last quarter. Yeah, 24 to 12 advantage for Lima Senior in that third quarter. And you're right, Nate. Shawnee just kind of looks discombobulated at this point. They really don't know what kind of offense they want to run. They're being shut down on the inside. They're not getting along any good looks on the outside as well. You know, they, they've been able to get to the free throw line, but that's not going to be enough to get you back in this game if you don't hit a couple shots on the outside. Plus, you got to shut down this line of senior three-point shooting. Here's Bender trying to work on the inside. He takes the contact. And as Noah Simpson will pick up, I believe that will be his third. And it is. You know, one of the things I'm surprised the adjustments we haven't seen from Shawnee is when you see when they're doing their ball rotation on offense, you're seeing number 34, Alex Goldberry, go up top. He is zero threat to shoot that three right. ball. So nobody is coming out to guard him. You see uh, Jagger Hutchins is sinking in. They have the inside completely clogged up, and they want to go yeah. to the inside, but it is completely negated with the way that they're doing that rotation. Right. I'm surprised Coach Triplett hasn't tried to change that around, or if nothing else, just told Alex, hey, take a step in, try to take that shot, something. we got to get them to pull out so we have those lanes on the inside opened up. At least make them think you are going to try to shoot it from out there, you know. I think, too, on free throws, as we talked about Shawnee having the advantage, and they have hit you know, most of their free throws tonight. In fact, I don't think they've missed at the free throw line yet. But on the flip side, the line with seniors, seven for nine at the free throw line tonight. That three-point try is going to be long, going to go out of bounds. It'll go back to Shawnee. So the quarter has at least started the way that Shawnee needed it to. They got a turnover on both of Lima Senior's possessions so far. Last time down, they got two points. See if they can do the same here. And we're going to have another whistle. Let's see who they get on this one. Going to go on Hutchins. It is. That'll be just his second. It's the team's second of the quarter. They crash on at the free throw line. Shot is up, and it is good. So Fashon get off to a good start. Be able to connect on some big three pointers there in the first half, but. He has been quiet here in the second. It would really help Shawnee if they can get him going here in the fourth. Yeah, if they can get another couple big threes out of him. Second free throw up and good. Shawnee continues to be perfect from the line tonight. 20 for 20 so far tonight, Nate. But again, you've got to have mix that in with a couple baskets too. See Foster somehow got Lynch to completely give him that left side. Foster's one of those players, left or right, he's equally as dangerous. Third three-point try, just like we talked about as Nick Pachon gets the Rick Ricker Lawn and Landscape three-point try to go down. It is down to a 12-point deficit, and Shawnee wants to talk about it. Looks like it's just going to be a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here as well. We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv, also available on Roku and Apple TV. You know, Dar, 12 points, there's just under seven minutes left to go here in the game. It's completely doable. But Shawnee's really got to start finding that shooting touch from behind the, uh, behind the arc again. Well, they certainly do. And that one right there was a big, big shot by, by Nick. Because, you know, that not only, you know, brings him back in the, into the game a little bit, but also give, makes the Lima Senior think, okay, if this guy starts shooting from the outside, we're going to have to pull out there and clear off that lane a little bit, which gives Berkey an opportunity underneath there too, which he hasn't had that entire third quarter. Rebic Berkey only four points on the night. His brother, the leading scorer, with 22 and a half. Trevick averaging just over six. See Lynch averaging 10 a game. As Simpson coming out of the timeout, just has a completely wide open lane, and he is able to finish at the rim for two. 
And I'm not sure what happened there for the Indian defense of miscommunications or something because you can't let a guy just go through the lane like that wide open. Beckett has this one poked away, tracked down by Bender. Three-point try on its way. That one's going to be no good. Hutchin goes up for the rebound. He's going to drop this one off to Foster. Foster's going to go out and run. Gets it ahead to Walton. Walton runs the floor and able to finish for two. Seen a lot of individual performances out there, but I'll tell you what, Walton has really done a nice job defensively and offensively for this Lima senior team. Back in Berkey. He's able to get that too, and now we're going to have a conversation. I believe this might be, it's either going to be a technical on each team or a warning as things are starting to get a little chippy. And the way that both teams are kind of set up, I believe we're going to have a technical. They're sorting it out down there right now. Taking a long time to do it. So the technical fouls go on Noah Simpson and Tate Bender. So double technical. No one's going to shoot any free throws here. And as the officials with 544 left to go, want to make sure that this one doesn't start getting too chippy. Don't want anybody getting hurt. It's a competitive game. These kids have all played against each other for a lot of years, whether it be in high school, or in the AAU circuit, or down at the Y. Oh. As Hutchins connects on another Ricker Lawn and Landscape three-pointer. He has been quiet since that first quarter, and he now has three three-pointers on the night. Lynch tries to get that one to go, and he's going to be no good. Fight for the loose ball is going to end up in a foul as this one is going to go on Beckett Berkey. It'll be his fourth. I'll tell you what, Nate, you know, you got a lot of talent out there on that court on both sides, you know, for Shawnee and Lima Sr. But Jagger Hutchins is somebody that really has impressed me every time I've seen him play. You know, he's got 16 points now. He comes in averaging just about 11 points a game. But you leave that yeah, young man open and he's going to burn you every time. Here's the Spartan offense one more time. Wilson on completely guarded on the switch. Miscommunication by the Indians. And I don't know that Isaiah Wilson will get an easier shot on the half-court offense or not. Trevick Berkey trying to drive. No good. Beckett tries to tip it to himself. Ends up with it off the glass. That oh one's no good. Shawnee has had a lot of second and third opportunities tonight. They've just not been able to do anything with it. And the Spartans aren't giving them anything underneath there either. And like I said, the, that pressure defense by the Spartans underneath the basket, the ball, you know, you're hurrying your shots and it's just rolling everywhere but in the basket. Inbound comes to Hutchins down low. Here comes the help. He spins into some trouble as Dominic Lynch was there to rip it away. Ends up going out of bounds off of Hutchins' foot. It's going to go back to the Indians. 4.34 left to go, 71-52. It's been all Lima Senior here in the second half. And he's going to have to pick up the pace a little bit, though. Creates a little bit of his own space that time as he's able to get that one up and in. They're down to almost four minutes left here in the game, and the Indians are really going to have to pick up the pace a little bit to get back in this. comes to help on Hutchins. He gets rid of it. I'm not sure Wilson's the one I'd want the help to come off of as he has been absolutely fantastic tonight. That lob pass just a little too high for Hutchins. Wilson takes it away though. He's going to take it himself. Finishes with the one hand. Can't get it to go. There's Foster. Foster gets it back from Walton. Three point try on its way. No good. Wilson pokes it away. Ends up in the hands of Lynch. Frantic action here now as Lynch just goes right into Hampton. And that is going to be an offensive foul. Dominic Lynch picks up his only first foul here so far tonight. And we're going to have another timeout. It's going to be a full timeout on the floor, so we'll step aside as well and be back on WOSN.
Welcome back. Tonight's timeout are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Metzger Financial Services is helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. So Shawnee takes the timeout with 3.34 left to go. The Indians are frustrated right now. You can see it in their faces. You know, they're, they're not getting any kind of offense rhythm going here in the second half. And, you know, credit to Lemmy Senior's defense, no doubt about it. But, you know, Shawnee really has missed, you know, missed some opportunities. They've also given up some easy baskets on defense that are uncharacteristic for them as well. So, you know, Foster for a deep three. That one's no good. Long rebound comes down to Bender. And you mentioned. You know, you got to give credit to this Lima senior defense, and I really think you have to give the majority of it to it. I have seen this Lima senior defense fluster teams time and time again. It just builds over every single quarter. Starts off, you think you can handle it. You, you're, you're fresh legs. You're not tired. You think they're going to back off, and they just never stop coming at you. And eventually, when you get into games like this, especially when it starts to get away from you, it creates a lot of mistakes that Lima Senior tends um, to be able to take advantage of. And then it leads to the frustration, like I think we're seeing at some oh, of the Shoney players absolutely. right now. And, and you, you know, like you said, Nate, you get tired, you know, and, and you feel like you're beating your head up against a wall and you're not able to get anything going. And, you know, and it just adds to it. And Lima Senior's just not backing off at all on anything. They played a great game and they played a very controlled game, you know, for the, for the Spartan offense and defense. I mean, you know, they played a lot of good half court offense. They've gotten a lot of good off shots. They've made a lot of nice moves to the basket. There's another one right there. This one nice job blocked, by Pashone to go up there and block that one away from Wilson. He's going to pull up from the free throw line, but it leaves that one short. Berkey has that one taken away. Here's Hampton. Hampton gets it over to Foster. Foster lost it, gathered it, and still got it in for two. 19-point lead here. Final 225 left in the game. Yeah, Foster with 15 points now. So you got three guys on the board right now in double figures. Foster comes over the top to block that one, but he's going to pick up the foul. So you see Shawnee getting ready to make some wholesale changes here. You know, this is going to be a tough off for Shawnee. You never like losing to your rivals. You never like losing to your, especially your cross-town rivals, especially in a, in a manner like this. Mm -hmm. Most of these games over the last few years have been very close, even though Lima Seniors won them. Each one was only decided by four points. You know, tonight, this one got away from Shawnee, but, you know, they're going to sit at 9-5 and five after this loss, still undefeated in the WBL. They have a lot to play for still this season. And games like this can be great coaching points for head coaches where they can go back and they can say, are you better than this team? Because if you don't think you can beat this team, then what are we going to do when we go Absolute, up against the top absolutely. end of that Western Buckeye League? These are the games where you can use to light a fire, to get your team refocused, because they have a very realistic chance at a Western Buckeye League championship. Yeah, they got the big game coming up with Ottawa Blandor, like we talked about. But you know, you're right, Nate. I mean, this is something you got to take back if you're the Shawnee Indian players and say, you know, hey, we, we couldn't put it together tonight. You know, things didn't go our way. What can we do better the next time around? You know, what do we have to work on? You know, we, we came up against a pressure defense. You know, we got to make some adjustments. You know, we got to figure out how to get her, you know, play against this kind of thing. Because you're going to go up against an OG team that for the Western Buckeye League that plays pressure defense a lot. Walton able to finish at the rim. He gets two more. And on the other side of it, you look at Alima Senior. This is a big win for them. They needed the offense to get going, you know, against a high caliber team, which it did here tonight. The defense also showed up and did a nice job as well. And Lima Senior has looked on all facets from a lot of players. They've gotten contributions, and they've looked a lot more in sync than maybe they have lately as Javion Walton throws down the big slam. Yeah, I've been very impressed with the way Lima Senior played tonight. I, like I said, I saw them against the Toledo Stark team. They were kind of ragged. They did get the win in that game. But, you know, tonight they've just put every category 
in the plus column for them. I mean, they shot well at the free throw line. They shot well from three point line. They played great defense. You know, they ran their offense. They ran half court offense well. They did a lot of things tonight that really was impressive. Now Lima Senior bringing some changes into the game as well as the final minute 15 clicks off the clock. A good opportunity for some of these younger guys to get out there and get in some playing minutes, which will pay benefits for this Lima Senior team when we get into the tournament play. It's going to be stolen. That's going to be Jack Fishball. He tries to get it off the glass. That one's no good. Matthew Stiles can't finish it. Here comes Stacy Dixon Jr. He has to get rid of it. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by Goldsberry. 41 seconds left to go. Uh, Lima Senior. Next one would be against uh, Toledo Rogers. Coming up, and Shawnee then has to go against uh, St. Mary's in, in a WBL game. So yeah, they have three very difficult WBL games coming up. St. Mary's, Van Wert, then OG. As Damola Ojo is going to drive, going to have a whistle, go against Dixon. On the flip side, you got Lima Seniors, got uh, Rogers, then they got Mansfield Senior, then Trotwood Madison, and then Thurgood Marshall at the end. So. And that Mansfield senior game is actually a reschedule from a couple of weeks ago due to weather. They couldn't come. They were able to get that one rescheduled. So that it's a, another home game here next Tuesday night against a very tough Mansfield senior team. That is, that game has turned into quite the rivalry as it well. certainly has. You know, thanks to uh, Tim Ludwig, the local historian here, we had he able to bring us some stats and you know let us know that Shawnee this is now the third longest rivalry of Lima Senior, this Lima Senior Shawnee. But number five on that list is Mansfield Senior. Those two teams have met 46 different times. This upcoming matchup will be number 47. So a long history with them as well. That'll be another great chance for Lima Senior to show what they got as this ball is going to roll harmlessly into the backcourt. And this one comes to an end. Lima Senior, all they took over here coming out of the locker room as they dominated and controlled the entire second half. Oh, absolutely. They just came out. That third quarter was really the, the knife in the back for, for Shawnee because they really didn't get anything going. And, and because they couldn't get anything going, Lima Senior just kept building on that momentum. You know, they could feel it at that point. We've got this game in, in hand, and boy, they really did. They just put on an impressive show tonight. Shawnee will go back and regroup. There's no doubt about it. Mark Triplett will put this guy back out there again, you know. And he will get him ready will. to go. Yes, he will. So that is just going to about wrap it up for us here at Lima Senior High School. I'd like to thank our sponsors yet again, Road State College, Web Insurance Agency, Simplified Flooring, Lee Samoth Recipe Chicken, Ricker Lawn and Landscape, Metzger Financial Services, and Elina Building and Contracting. Thank you guys so much. Make these broadcasts possible, and we appreciate the support. Also, I'd like to thank our crew tonight, Abby and Megan, running things for us, getting everything set up, making sure everything sounds good, looks good. We appreciate it. We get the easy job. We watch some sports. Right. We talk about it. They got to do all this other stuff. I tried to help them once. I'm pretty sure I broke a bunch of things. They don't want me <laughs> touch it anymore. So I am glad that we have them to take care of all the technical stuff for us. One final time from Lima Senior High School. The Spartans get the big win over Crosstown Rivals Shawnee, 77-56. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great night, everybody.